Hey, it's the Chief Bonnie with Board Games, and this was not going to be an unboxing. But PSC sent me the Cold War, the Quartermaster General spinoff series is just really gathering steam as a preview copy for their upcoming Kickstarter. Now, I uh, they told me, hey, everything you get is not final. The box is a mock-up. They said the little minis inside are not plastic, but this part intrigued me. They said we actually used um, just some metal. Now, when they told me that, that was in an email, I thought, oh, maybe it'll be like little metal pieces. I didn't think they were going to be shaped. I just thought it'd be like Navy, Army, Air Force, whatever. I didn't know what to expect. But they told me, hey, don't, that's, th those are not final. Um... Uh, it's just like a rough thing. I was like, oh, okay. I got it. The box mock-up is good enough. The cards, how they're wrapped inside, they look like they got linen finished. We're going to go in and take a look. Um, it, it definitely is still not the final. This is a preview copy. Uh, I guarantee the piece are going to be plastic, but they, I think they use metal because they'll hold up well in like a, a mock-up. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in do an unboxing, try to keep it pretty quick, and then uh, I've got to get this played a few times, and I'll do a little uh, preview for a Kickstarter that's coming up in July from PSC. So, Quartermaster General, the Cold War, you got Reagan, um, you got the Iron Lady, <laughs> you got, I think, Mao, Khrushchev, Castro, and I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the other Russian fella's name off the top of my head. Black Hat. Going in tight. Now, all right, we're zoomed in. First, ignore this. <laughs> the lighting I wanted was causing a little piece of glare whoop, right there. So I put one of our little peat stickers down. Don't worry about that. It has to do with the Scotch Test Dummies whiskey show I do. That's not what this is. All right, so the Cold War. So first of all, the mock-up on the box. This is the art, as far as I can tell, that's going to be darn near final. Great great stuff. I mean, it just, it screams 70s, well, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, very nice on the back. You can see the map portrayed. We are going to be taking a closer look at that in a little bit. Uh, the map is also not completely final, but it's a, a wonderful mock-up. So let's take a look. Now, these were clearly, they don't have the the um, like player age sheets yet so there's one for each player all right um, and these are always very good quality so it's going to tell you what the final copies are but what these do is let you know what all the other factions have as far as um, army navy air force and then the type of cards that they have as well and then you get your turn sequence things over here and these uh, no doubt will all be uh, some form of cardstock. This was kind of what I thought I was going to have throughout the whole thing. And then I moved and was like, okay, looks like they're fully finished rule book. Beautiful color. Great, great uh, breakouts, explanations, um, handy size even. And I was like, well, look at this. All right. So this is clearly final stages again. Give you a good shot of, if I can find it now, hello, splash page, PSC, all other companies, keep doing the splash pages. Explain everything out, show me where things go, all right, love it. So the rule book looks phenomenal, looks completely finished and ready to go. Um, move these out of the way, I'll show those in a second. Uh, so it's got a little player board, uh, I don't know if these are going to be thicker or not, um, uh, they are a little bit thin. I mean, they'd be more than functional. So again, but don't assume uh, they flat out told me these aren't final pieces. Who knows? If it's doing a Kickstarter, you know all this stuff could be upgraded. Uh, that being said, they punch out clean. Uh, everything's great with them. No problems at all. This is what surprised me. I didn't think. Um, so these are locked in. Let me see if I can slide these off. They're kind of like... Uh, shrink wrapped in. All right, so the other factions, uh, the decks just to see, and then we'll get to the big bear 
and the eagle here in a second. But, well, let me look at these. So these are all the same. I actually haven't gone through these myself. Just going to make sure. So you will see air power, Chinese. So we got Chinese land battles coming in, espionage. Now see, there's the beauty. All right, so you see the color shift. I'm sorry about the glare. So then we're color shifting right there from the Chinese to India. So I know Indian nationalist. Espionage, very cool. Look at all those. Status cards, WMDs. Wow, of course had to be in there. All right, we will set that aside. Let's take a look at the Russian deck. So the Soviet bloc. All right, we've got kind of a, a, a darker I got this flag here. I can't quite see on my monitor to really make out the logo fully, but you can also see it's more of a burgundy versus more of a standard red. Soviet block, Soviet block. So again, um, no idea, but you can uh, assume artwork could change. Anything here could change. Uh, these look so beautiful. You know, I don't know if they are or not. The art surely looks final to me, but I can't say enough. This is an unboxing of a preview copy. So, there's our WMDs again. They do talk about the SS-18, uh, 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 well, Satan MIRV. Huh. Tassar Bumba. Cool. All right. I love the history. This is my era. All right. The Western Bloc. The Western Bloc. So again, you're seeing the same artwork. Anybody familiar with the system, you're going to be familiar with the cards. Um, I'll, I'll go in and make sure I get a couple plays in here and then do a little, do a little preview. Um, I haven't played the original Quartermaster, but I played the Peloponnesian uh, Victory or Death. So I'm a little bit familiar just as I look at these cards. Of course, they didn't have air power. Air power. All right. We will look at the map last. So I was looking at the back of the box. What it looks like is these are metal mock-ups, probably because they will be a little tougher, but it looks like they are using possibly the molds that will be in the uh, with the final plastic. So let me pop some of these out. So you got different makeups of numbers for the factions, but you can see that is a Hornet or a Super Hornet, an F-18. So, love it. Seen them flying by in close order. Very nice. All right, and it's got this uh, little mount that kind of pitches it up, if you can see. So when it's down on the map, it's kind of got a, uh, it's flying. Then you're going to have a submarine. See if I can get that in close enough. Probably, maybe. Maybe. All right. So you got a sub for your for your sea power. Let me just put the air one out in the ocean too, so you can see it. And then we got this beautiful M1 Abrams. My hand keeps shadowing. Sorry, and I'll show you some of the other pieces as well. But those are your base pieces. Now again, these happen to be metal. They are painted. Um, my understanding is, of course, the pieces are going to be plastic. Um, and then the, the plastic color will be throughout, so they're not going to be painted metal. Um, but I found it, I, I was very impressed. Let me show you. So through the bag, oh, uh, pull them out. So they're the exact same molds. And I'll take some little solo shots and maybe put these in because my focus isn't doing its job. Oh, you know why? 
Manual focus. Better, I'll still take some independent shots. So all the molds are the same. Um, so you can tell the difference real easy on the map. You've got blue. All right, America in the West. You got red Soviets, Eastern Bloc. You've got an orange. You've got more of like a, a brown. And then you've got this tan. All right. Let me move these out of the way. We'll clear an area and I'll show you the map. All right. First, I'm zoomed out so you can see again the racetrack scoring around the side. All right. You've got the, the escalation chart sitting right here on this part of the map. Uh, you've got kind of a roughed out turn sequence uh, sitting here and then that kind of familiar green with the blue ocean background uh, for the rest of the map. You've got some very interesting things uh, that I haven't even read yet with some anchors and arrows that are showing what I assume maybe is transition from one section to another. Let me zoom in. All right, just to be a little bit tighter in so you can see some of the core European action there, including the Black Sea. Now again, the map is still very, very abstracted. I'm gonna actually slide the map around rather than move the camera, maybe pull out just a bit. So um, the Quartermaster General series, think of it as a uh, Euro-ish war game is definitely gonna be the best way to describe it. Uh, so the map is slightly abstracted. Uh, you can tell where pieces and places are, um, but like someone mentioned, New Zealand and Tasmania are not down here. I saw that on the forum page just because um, I went on to see if there were any other pictures of the map. Uh, the photos seen so far look like they very much match up with what the mock-up is here. Again, I'll say it again, not final, but we can see the uh, start area 1945 right after World War II. You can see how you're moving through two turns and we're coming into 1950 scoring. All right, we're running two turns. So it's a little bit different. Uh, Victory in the Pacific was uh, every three turns, if I remember right. I've played about four games since then. Sorry, four different games is what I'm saying. So we'll slide up. And the only thing that was interesting is that uh, 19... 90 and then that 19th round and then uh, there we go to 1992 scoring all right there's your brief overview